Hey, this is the Hunter Show. I'm going to be doing a Let's Play of the Urquan Masters. And I know there's already quite a few of these uh, Let's Plays for the Urquan Masters. I wanted to do my own because each time you play through the game, you don't have to do it in the same order, so it kind of makes a, a unique experience uh, every time. I love the giant light bulbs at the top. Okay, so uh, being a space opera game in the uh, immediate start, you can kind of choose where you want to go, although it's a good idea to go to Earth. Um, you only have 10 fuel, so you, I don't think you'd be able to make it very far regardless. Oh, by the way, I'm terrible at flying this ship. So sometimes I will go rather slow so I don't uh, fly out of orbit. Attention, attention, interloper. Heed this recorded message. This drone vessel speaks with the voice and authority of Urquan. You are trespassing within Urquan space. 
this world, Earth, may not be approached for any reason. Nor will hostilities against our orbital platform be tolerated. In addition, your ship does not respond to standard hierarchy identification transmissions and is therefore deemed to be independent. So says the frog. This is not permissible. Only oh. subservience shall be tolerated. This drone now leaves to inform the Urquan of your transgressions. You are commanded to remain here and await the arrival of the Urquan. I'll do just that. Disobedience will be punished. Okay, so um, in this game you actually do have kind of a time limit, so yeah. You kind of see that red thing and you're like, oh, this is an Earth. No, that's Earth. See, it's Earth. I apologize if anything cuts out. I am Starbase Commander Hayes of the Slave Planet Earth. Our hyperwave broadcast is extremely weak. Situation critical. Energy cores exhausted. Scanners and deep radar are non-functional. We cannot identify your vessel. Are you the scheduled hierarchy resupply ship? Repeat. Are you the resupply vessel? Alright, well, uh, I'm not gonna be so much of a smartass with these replies, so, uh, I'm gonna try and also be good and not evil. So, sorry, whoever wants me to be evil. And I will change the name of my captain and starship for you. The starship what? Never mind, look. We won't last much longer. Here's our situation. According to our oath of fealty to the Urquan, we must maintain the star base, but we have no space vessels of our own, and the shield prevents us from contacting Earth, so we're totally dependent on the Urquan supply vessels for everything we need up here. We know there's a hierarchy base on the surface of the moon, but we can't contact them. The Urquan were supposed to resupply the base at regular five-year intervals, but we haven't received anything in almost eight years. What we don't recycle, we can usually synthesize, but to do so, we need replacement radioactives for our generator energy cores. If you could bring us some radioactive elements, we can fabricate the cores ourselves. Are you willing to help us? Also, I'm sorry about the frames per second overlay. It, I don't know how to really disable that. The fastest way to get radioactives in this system would be to land on Mercury and scour the surface for deposits of radioactive elements. But be careful, Mercury is a pretty inhospitable place. Watch out for earthquakes and those high temperature areas. Thanks, I'll make sure to mention this the next time I talk with our masters. I'm sure they will reward you. Yeah, I'd rather you not tell them anything. I am going to use a controller to play this, and I have not beaten the game, uh, and have not really gotten past maybe halfway through if that. So um, if you're looking to find uh, some advice, I am going to go through some of the main storyline plots and stuff like that, but uh, for the most part, I'm going to be flying a little blind. I will try not to record the uh, farming missions where I gotta go get minerals and stuff. Though I will record some of them. Is this one Mercury? Yes. Oh, and uh, yeah, that would be horrible if I didn't know where Mercury was, but uh, they're all just red circles, so I'm not too sure which red circle it would be. Big one, little one. So this is pretty much the gist of what happens when you go to a planet. You scan it. Um, I have the 3DO graphics enabled if you're wondering why there's not a text menu right here. Instead, there's pictures. 
Um, you can just skip through the uh, these scans, but this is what they do. Energy is like buildings, I think, and biological is little monsters that run around on the planet. And you can shoot them with your lander and get biological data, which comes comes in handy later. So yes, it's worth hunting down all those cute little monsters on the planet. Oh, that's... Um, right now, because I have the controller set up, I have the uh, push to talk button <laughs> set to the the lander's firing button. So if you see me firing for no reason, that's why. There's a limit of how much your lander can hold. It's on the left hand side. It's that right or that uh, red bar. And then the blue one is dat data, which is. Uh, <laughs> when you shoot the inhabitants of a planet, they drop, I suppose, data. When you get hit by that stuff on the planet, like the fires and the earthquakes and even lightning, uh, what happens is, is you lose crew members on your main ship right now, the Vindicator. You all, every time you launch down, by the way, you also use fuel. One reason that I use the uh, the right or the uh, the controller to play this game is because I like to use the left trigger to move forward. And yeah, most of the time when I'm running around on planets, I'm not going to notice that my thing's full. I like to kind of focus, especially if it's a it's a more inhospitable planet. I like to focus on not dying. I only have the uh, 15 minutes for YouTube, so if it cuts out at any time, I'm sorry. I will just uh, keep going from that point and save wherever I'm at, unless it's in a battle, and then, well, that sucks. You won't watch the rest of the battle. I'm gonna save right now. And I will change the uh, firing on the planet to something else. Take it off the right trigger. Did you find any radio? You find any radioactive elements for our power cores? Yeah, that voice skipping happens sometimes because of the controller. We're initiating transfer of radioactives, Captain. Now, as soon as our engineers can refit the energy cores, there, that's much better. Power ratings are climbing. Life support is coming back into the green. Deep radar systems and sensors are now online, and I can scan your vessel. What the hell kind of ship is that? Just who are you, Captain? Star Control Science Mission, huh? <laughs> Captain, I served as a Star Control Officer during the war aboard several cruisers in the Corward Front. And if there'd been any scientific mission to Vela, I would have heard about it. Hmm. You know, come to think of Didn't it, take there were some rumors that Corridor 9, the Special Operations Division of Star Control, was directing some hush-hush operation near Andresynth Space. The Vela Star System. Yes, that would be the right direction. So, Captain, if you say it's true, how do you explain that huge alien starship you're flying? And why are you here? What do you want from us? Ah, fight the Urquan. Win back our freedom. I remember having such thoughts myself once, long time ago. That was in the first years after the defeat, when it was still terrifying to look up and see the bloody glow of the pulsating slave shield overhead. So day and night, we gazed up at the impenetrable wall, as though the sheer power of our hatred would pull it down. 
But over the years, I spent so much of my time struggling down on the surface, under the shield, and then later up here trying to keep the station alive that I'd forgotten what it means to be free, to hate our Urquan masters.